Hey guys, Jedi here. What you're looking at is the only AEG that I can say that I actually own personally. This is my ANK MK43 M60. Um, I did an overview of this gun after using it for a couple of months. I have to say it's just an incredible gun. And you guys have seen review after review after review on this weapon. So basically I'm just going to tell you what's what about it. Um, if you haven't watched the other reviews and then give you my personal um, experiences with it. We'll start out from the front. This gun comes with a steel flash hider. You have an onboard MOSFET chip which you can deactivate. And what this does, you can speed up or slow down your rate of fire from this unit. And when I chronoed it last, um, at the slowest setting I think it was like 11 or 12 rounds per second and then the highest reading I got was about 23 rounds per second. Moving back you have a solid metal barrel here. Um, I'm not sure what material it's made of but it's very tough material. It looks very nice and the finish is spot on to the real steel. You have an adjustable bipod which is adjustable from the feet down here and from uh, the top back and once you pull down the spring mechanism it folds forward leaving your pistol grip which is your front uh, vert grip here on your handguard this is made of a very sturdy ABS it leaves this open so you can shoulder fire the weapon moving further back you have a very sturdy rubberized um, real thick rubberized carry handle and it doesn't feel like it's going to break anytime soon it folds to both sides it's uh, very tough and it has to be because this is a 23 pound weapon. You have an adjustable flip up sight both for windage here and elevation here and this is the A and K with the trademarks. I don't know if you can see them with the flash. They are extremely light. Uh, these are stamped on. This is US machine gun. Uh, then it has the 7.62 millimeter and then it'll say uh, uh, M60 E4 MK43. Moving further back you have a full metal uh, loading gate that loads exactly like the real steel does. This flips up and you can see your bullet track here and then down here in the bottom you have your uh, ammo tray. Now the um, rounds here are not supplied with the weapon those came from a good friend of mine, Mr. Thomas Grace at BG Airsoft, also known as Bowling Green Airsoft. I thank him very much because at the time they were sold out everywhere. Uh, these are actual 7.62 rounds that have been fired and reloaded with uh, dummy primers. And they're filled with, uh, I don't know what exactly, they're filled with a putty of some kind maybe. And then they're linked up and this is like a 20 round belt. Um, these are also available, I found on the internet. In 50 to 100 to 1,000 round belts. Why you would want one that long is beyond me. The gun will come to you with a cloth ammo box that will hold anywhere from four to 5,000 rounds. Um, they are fed through the mechanism here on the side entering the gun from the box mag. And this box mag has the ability uh, to run continuously winding or wind whenever it's needed automatically so you, there's no need to wind the mag. And that's one of the things about AEGs that I can't stand is a high cap mag where you have to wind it. Uh, moving further back, you have more trades there. Machine Gun 7.62 Mod 60 E4 MK43. I do not know if those serial numbers are individualized. I do not like the Made in China. But that can be removed with a little bit of a citrus strip, extremely watered down citrus strip. And then down here you have your selector switch with a really nice click. And it goes from safe to semi-automatic. Um, to full automatic, I'm sorry. There's no semi on this gun. That's what makes it incredibly hard to chrono. Um, I was able to turn the MOSFET all the way down and I was chronoing somewhere around the high threes, 400s with it with .20s. Um, a lot of people will say use... Uh, two fives or point threes uh, because they fly better. I've seen one video where this thing has unbelievably incredible range on it. Unbelievable. Back here on the back you have a steel loop that goes over top of your shoulder to support the weapon. And moving along, when Zachary traded this to me, he took it to ASB and had it rewired. And right in here, this plate was missing. So all I did was fabricate a new plate 
and uh, paint that. And then, like I said, you have ambidextrous on your selector switch, and then you have your charging handle, which is not spring operated. That part I don't like, uh, but uh, I can live with it the way it is. So, all that being said, guys, this is one AEG that comes to you with a 9.6 volt battery. It's probably one of very few that has a battery that size that comes with it in the box. But uh, run it with a 9.6, it just it's not satisfying at all. So what I run it with is an 11.1 volt uh, 15C 4000 mAh battery LiPoly. Uh, you want something flat and small like this. If you run a 9.6, you want a 9.6 comparable to this in size because it fits. right down in here so you want to make sure that it'll fit down in there a large 96 is not going to run in this gun it's just simply not going to happen uh, this one came in it like i said in a trade it had a brand new box mag it had been rewired at asb for me um, you guys see me put stuff on youtube all the time for sale or trade and this is a result of a youtube video so uh, we traded and zachary's a real good friend of mine we've been friends for a long time um, along with other <coughs> friends I have, we'll call him RSVLPP. He laughs every time I talked to him on the phone last night. And uh, because of what I say, because his name, look at his name spelled backwards. You'll see why I can't say it. But, uh, you know, we he I told him about this gun and he was just like, you ass, you know, because he wants one. So, uh, yeah, hit me up if any of you guys have a saw that you want to trade or sell. Uh, preferably a para because he's looking for one and I'll get the word to him so he'll know but he wants a saw uh, preferably one with trademarks so I'm just going to throw that out there for my good friend and uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this video uh, I have to tell you uh, this gun has the amazing suppressive fire ability um, it puts heads on the ground and your team can move in on the flanks and just destroy everybody and it's very impressive when those BBs hit the dirt behind somebody's feet and they're moving it's it's incredible you get a good feeling with it oh also before I forget you've got a forward sling mount here and I think there's a rear sling mount somewhere um, I forget where that's at but it does have the front sling mount there in the front so there you have it, the ANK MK43 M60. Um, the ones that are made now do not come with trademarks, as far as I know. This is one of the last of the Mohicans when it comes to those. Um, they are a dying breed, guys, so when you see them for sale, snatch them. This is the Jedi. Thanks for watching.